What's up guys, Randa Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And in this video, let's just grab the tags. Uh, I got another uh, tech video for you guys, and uh, just got this thing in the middle right here today. This is the in case uh, Code of Canvas backpack for well, it's a backpack, so it's for a lot of things. But anyway, just got this in the mail. I uh, got it off eBay, and um, uh, in case not really you know a true well known uh, company, at least in the backpack industry. But uh, they make fairly decent products, and uh, they make a lot of you know accessories, bags, and stuff like that for uh, you know tech kind of stuff. And uh, this this thing was just in the backpack when I received it. It's like a little iPad kind of thing. But it shows a bunch of their you know products, bags, accessories, and stuff like that for many uh, you know tech gear. And uh, on the back here, it just shows you or just says uh, just they're just committed to making good quality products. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's uh, one thing there. Uh, the backpack I have is uh, that one right there. I think the biggest backpack pack would be that one's like a I'm not sure what they call those but um, anyways that's that thing uh, here's the other tag here which was uh, hanging off a zipper here this zipper here so I just cut it off of course and uh, says it fits up to 17 inch MacBook Pros um, of course, that will also apply to uh, you know regular laptops as well, so it doesn't have to be a MacBook, of course. And it just says coated canvas out here, and in case on the inside here, it just shows you a diagram of the backpack with the two main compartments open, and uh, a few specs here. I don't know if my eyesight camera can pick that up, but uh, it says durable cotton canvas construction with weather-resistant coating, uh, notebook compartment with a quilted interior lining, uh, two primary ex primary exterior uh, zipper compartments and uh, dedicated iPod pocket with faux fur lining and a headphone port and the rest of that is just in different languages nothing much on the back here and uh, on this side just says uh, made in China like everything else uh, 2010 but anyways that's the tag here's the backpack itself this is the uh, coated canvas version I uh, mentioned earlier and um, let me just see if I can get a bag better, better angle on this there we go and uh, that should be better but anyways uh, this is the uh, coated canvas series I'll just put it up close so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about but uh, anyways coated canvas it's um, or can cotton canvas at least is uh, you guys also know, know those like uh, tote bags that people sometimes use uh, a lot of people use it for like grocery bags and stuff is that same material very durable and very uh, strong as well and uh, the thing I like about uh, cotton canvas is natural material and also the inside I think is lined with cotton it doesn't say but it feels like it but I'll get into that later but anyways uh, this is the black edition and they do come in two other colors in pale gray as well as olive green um, I was initially wanting to get the pale gray one just because it was like you know white and uh, looked kind of different and kind of cool uh, from everything else but um, I do want this to last for four years of college so I decided just to uh, get the black one black looks nice you know it goes goes with everything so uh, what the heck and of course pale gray would definitely get dirty and very uh, very dirty uh, very easily uh, a lot more quicker of course but anyways got the black one it'll look a lot more nicer in the long run but um, yeah it's a cotton canvas uh, the entire backpack is uh, made of canvas which is kind of cool and um, yeah, we'll just uh, start off with a uh, quick overview of the outside and I'll show you guys all the pockets and you know work our way in. I did put I did put a couple books in here just to give you guys an idea of you know how much stuff you can fit in here. I do have to admit uh, the pictures looked a lot more bigger than the uh, backpack itself that when you see it in real life. But it's a fairly large uh, average size backpack. Um, yeah, I did get this off eBay for um, well it's on the Incase website for $129, uh, which is definitely not cheap. But you definitely get a good quality product out of it. Um, if you can't get it cheaper, I definitely recommend getting it. I did get mine off eBay and I did get it. For a bit more cheaper but then you add shipping fees and then the unexpected custom fees uh, so it kind of brought that price a bit up as well so I think custom was like $20.66 so yeah it kind of sucks it was coming from New York to uh, Canada Southern Ontario here so it's a, yeah and I can tell you these guys are not buying anything expensive over, over borders again but anyways um so yeah, uh, they do have the nylon version of this if you for some reason don't like cotton canvas, but I do recommend cotton canvas just because to me it seems like a strong material, more natural, and uh, even though it has weather resistant coating on it, it's a very soft material which I like a lot. And uh, the nylon, nylon one is 30 bucks cheaper, but uh, I, I'm just not a huge fan of polyester, that's all I can say, which is what essentially nylon is, plastic. But um, yeah, so anyways, first off, I guess we'll just start off at the front here, and uh, let me just move back so you guys can get a bit better angle of this so first off we got the uh, large front pocket here and uh, opens up like this of course it looks big but it actually goes down to about this uh, this far down so it's not that huge of a pocket you probably throw in a couple books in there diaries your iPod you know stuff like that it's also fairly well padded as well 
And, uh, oh, forgot to mention, all the zippers on this backpack are YKK zippers, and uh, YKK is a very good, or a very uh, big company that makes uh, uh, very durable zippers for, you know, high-end backpacks, uh, wet bags, winter coats, stuff like that, so you can definitely depend on these. And they also have this uh, cotton canvas, like, an extension thing to it, so you can, you know, grab it easier, of course. But anyways, that's the zipper and large pocket here. Uh, we also have the Inkcase logo in black here. That's, uh, it looks like it's glued on. And, um... Next pockets are on these sides, and let me just try and lift this up. Uh, the pockets on the sides, it's a you know a cool idea, of course. Like, well, actually, all backpacks pretty much have pockets on the sides. The ones on the in-case ones, uh, they're very well padded, but my only complaint about them is that they are a bit small. Um, like, I could just barely fit maybe a little over half my hand in there, so it's not really too useful for me that I can think of right now. Like, I want to put my wallet in here, but uh, it wouldn't fit. I have one of those trifold wallets, but uh, if you have smaller or thinner ones, then they might fit. But, um, yeah, I guess you could, I don't know, maybe use it for holding cards or something like that, uh, cash change, you know. But, um, yeah, to me, not very useful, but, you know, they're on both sides of the backpack, which uh, are there if you need them. Um, on the back here, you have two large uh, padded mesh panels here to keep your back... Uh, comfortable when you're wearing this of course and a cool thing about this one here is it has a um, let's see if I don't know if you guys can see that it has a secret pocket here that you can zip down and it's uh, pretty much covers the entire uh, um, section of the panel here so you can put quite a bit of stuff in here it is flat so um, it is um, you know it's big lengthwise but uh, width wise not very so if you put like something bulk in here like a charger for your laptop or something like that then it'll definitely you know bulge out and kind of you know not be very comfortable when you're carrying this so I uh, do recommend just using it for actually I have no idea it's a secret pocket I call it and uh, you know if you want to throw in some cash or something you just don't want people to find then this is a good spot to put it and just zips back up like this um, straps on here are uh, also covered in cotton canvas and on the back of these straps you got pretty decent layer of mesh and padding um, it's not I kinda wish there was more but it's fairly average and it's, it's pretty comfortable it's not the most comfortable but it's fairly comfortable uh, not very comfortable when you're wearing when you're carrying a lot of stuff that makes this thing heavy but uh, it's pretty average so you know don't expect too too much uh, from this I also have the uh, in case logo here and uh, you have sternum straps as well and they also are adjustable up and down as you can kinda see and uh, speaking about the straps, cool thing about these straps here is uh, they feel like and look like the same material they use in a car seat belt. So these are definitely very, very strong and you can definitely depend on these for not breaking and keeping your backpack on your back. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh yes, we also have waist straps as well. And uh, they just clip in, whoops, wrong one. Here it is, this one right here. And of course they just clip in like this. Uh, cool thing about these, actually yeah, not really cool, but uh, they also have the in-case logo right there. And uh, oh, what I mean to say is the cool thing about these straps is if you don't like using waist straps and uh, you just don't want them you know, flopping around, they also have their dedicated pockets right here, one on the other side as well. So if you don't like them, just uh, stick them inside. And uh, there's a large pocket right beneath, beneath this uh, mesh uh, panel here, so you can easily tuck these in and uh, they'll be out of your way. Uh, I would put it in for you guys right now, but it does take me like about five minutes to shove them in because there's a bit of a tight space uh, right in this area. But anyways, that's uh, pretty much the back. And the straps attached to the, uh, the side flaps here, which of course this thing attaches to the rest of the structure of the backpack. And of course, like all backpacks, these are adjustable as well, very easy. And that's what you use to adjust the height and the uh, length of the strap here. Um, nothing much on this side, same deal. And uh, now, oh, there's one more thing, the top, forgot about that. So on the top here, we have the large handle, which is also attached to the main structure of the backpack. Very strong, definitely won't break or anything. Also has a bit of padding on the bottom here, as you can see, and the in-case logo stitched on the top. Um, next, we have the dedicated iPod pocket I was talking about earlier, and uh, it does have the uh, faux fur lining which is an uh, in-case is well known for and it's very soft material you can definitely uh, you know trust your iPod being in here uh, nice and protected and all that uh, it's a very large pocket I can stick my uh, entire hand in here so lots of space to put I don't know your wet I don't know your wet uh, bleh, your headphones in there as well and you know stuff like that so anyways zips up like that and you're good to go so anyways, that was the outside and I can't believe I made that nine minutes anyways now we'll just do a quick tour of the inside of course your first main compartment here is uh whoops i did put a few stuff in here as well uh, i got a pencil case in here let me just see if i can get a better angle 
Uh, let's just put it down here. So I did get my pencil case in there. I do have another textbook in here. It's probably about one and a half inches. So that's pretty much all the books that you can fit in there that are that big. He might be able to get away with the two smaller uh, books as well. And uh, my MacBook turned off for some reason. There we go. So this is pretty much your main uh, part compartment here for like accessories and stuff. Uh, first off, you have the uh, a large amount of pockets here. The, and I uh, forgot to mention this. The, the entire inside of this backpack is a very soft... I think it's cotton because it feels soft like cotton, but it kind of looks like nylon, but I'm not really sure, but it's a very soft and a very strong material. Uh, you have two large pockets on the top here. You have uh, two pen holders here, uh, two more smaller pockets here, and four mesh pockets, two on the top and two down on the bottom here. And these mesh pockets, very strong. They're like double layered, so you can definitely count on them to keeping all your uh, smaller stuff uh, secure and safe. On the other side here, you have a, another mesh uh, pocket here with its own zipper, so if you want to use it as like a pencil case or something, lots of room to put pens, your calculator, that kind of stuff in. And then finally on the bottom here, you have these two very large padded um, pockets, which uh, my hand kind of, it fits all the way in there, so it's a very large pocket. If you want to put in some, uh, you know, your camera or something like that, something, you know, you don't want to get uh, broken or anything, just, you know, for the added protection. These pockets do have a fair amount of padding to them, so very large and, you know, very useful. And of course, this entire apartment here goes all the way down to the bottom of the backpack if you want to put books or something. And what the hell is this? Oh, I got a bag in here for some reason. But anyways, that's the one compartment. And finally, the main compartment of this backpack is uh, where your MacBook or laptop and your books sit as well. And, uh, both two large, both compartments do have two zippers on them, so if one breaks or something or if you just can't reach the other one, you have another one available. So on the inside here, just like the other compartment, it has the very nice, I'm just going to call it like a cotton quilted um, design for uh, where your MacBook six sits. And uh, as you can see, it's cotton quilted. It's not the uh, faux fur lining that Incase is well, uh, very well known for. But uh, it's just a soft material and it'll definitely keep your MacBook nice and safe. It's not a huge deal for me because I do use uh, the uh, in-case hard shell for my MacBook. Uh, I definitely recommend this accessory. Some kind of hard shell case if you do get a uh, laptop. But uh, anyways, mine's a 13-inch MacBook. Fits in here no problems, but even with the case on, lots of room. And uh, the quilted design, lots of padding. would definitely keep your MacBook uh, nice and safe. I have one textbook in here. I can fit about three of them in here, uh, depending on the size, of course. And uh, lots of room to, uh, well, I wouldn't say lots of room, average room to put, you know, a lot of books in here. But, uh, yeah, very soft material, very strong material as well. Uh, this thing here is just part of that iPod pocket I showed you guys on the top here. And um, I think that's pretty much it. But, anyways, of course, the interior is all black. Um, I did see a picture on the internet of this having a chocolate brown interior. I'm not sure why mine's black, but I guess they came with a couple models. But anyways, that is uh, pretty much it for this video, and if you're looking for a uh, you know interesting backpack, I do recommend the Incase uh, uh, Coated Canvas Backpack. Uh, definitely, it's just one of those kind of designs that, you know, you either like it or you don't like it. And uh, it's just, you know, it's different from other backpacks, a lot of backpacks that you see out there, you know, have tons of straps on it or tons of pockets. But um, if you want to, you know, get something a bit different, and uh, I, I wouldn't recommend the white one, though, because that would be, like, too different. You don't want to grab too much attention. But, um, you know, very nice backpack. Holds a decent amount of books, and uh, hopefully this will last you for the four years of college. So, um, and hopefully it fits all my books as well. But anyways, that is uh, pretty much it for this video, and I definitely recommend this product here. Uh, if you can get it for a good price, I do recommend getting it. Uh, $129 is a bit overpriced. It's a good quality backpack, but, you know, that's still very expensive. And, um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And I will make an updated video on this, of course, in a couple of weeks or something like that. Uh, to let you, let you guys know my experiences with it. And also, um, I do want to fill this thing out, you know, with a bunch of stuff and accessories. Show you guys what you can use this thing for. Uh, mainly in the accessory depart or bleh, compartment as well. But anyways, I will see you all in the next video. And you guys have a great night. Peace.